Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to use Prime Slider in WordPress. So let's begin. Alright, so to use the Prime Slider, that is really easy. The first thing that we need to do is to go inside the plugins and click on add new plugin. And here we have to search for Prime Slider. Alright, so as you can see here, we have the Prime Slider at the top of the search. So we have to install this. We have to click on activate. And after this, what we need to do, we have to refresh our page. Perfect. Now you can see this, we have the prime slider on the sidebar. So we have to click on this. And here, let's just click on skip. All right. So now you can see this, we are inside the dashboard of prime slider. So you can see this, we have multiple different options. We're going to simply click on core widgets. And here, what we need to do, we have to click on free. And here you can see is we have the different free widgets here that we can use in our website. But right now we can only use the general. Okay. So for that, what we need to do, we have to go inside the pages and click on all pages. And here I would like to create a new page for it. So let's click on add new page. And here let's just add the name of our page. So that would be slider. So now let's click on edit with Elementor. All right, so now as you can see this, we are inside the Elementor editor. So the first thing that I need to do is to go inside the settings and I have to change the page layout. So that would be Elementor canvas because I don't want to have any header or footer on my page for the slider. Perfect. Now we have to search for general. Okay, so we have to click on this and this slider will be added in our page. Okay, so now what I need to do First, I will need to change the width of our page, width of our container. So let's click on edit container. Change the width here to the full width. Perfect. Now one thing that we need to do is to add the padding to the zero. Now this is looking perfect. Okay. So now let's click on our slider. Okay. So now you can see here in our slider, we have the different options. So we have the sliders, we have the additional options, we have the social icon. We have the scroll down and we have slider settings. And in the last, we have advanced animations. But unfortunately, advanced animation is only the part of pro version. So we can't use this in the free version. Okay, so let's just explore all of these options one by one. So in the sliders, the first thing that we have is the skin. So if I just click on this, you can see this, we have the different options here. So we have the slide, we have the query, and we have the meteor. So I'm going to go here with the default value. And after this, we have the slider items. So in the slider items, you can see here, we have the three different items. So if I wanted to edit any of these options, I can simply click on that. And now you can see this, I can customize the subtitle, the title, button text, and we have the button link. And after this, we have the background and we have the color. So in the background, you can add the background color and you can also add the background image uh, video as well. All right. So right now I just want to change the background color here. So I can simply click on this and I can simply change the background color from here. And now you'll be able to see new background color on our massive title. But I would go here with the default value. Perfect. So if I wanted to change the button text, what I can do here, I can simply change it from here. So I'm going to simply put it on the read or we can simply change this to the learn more. All right. And similarly, if I wanted to edit other options, I can simply do this. And if I wanted to delete this, I can simply delete this from here. And if I wanted to create the duplicate of this, I would just simply click on this. And this will create the duplicate of our item. And if I wanted to add the new item, I can simply click on this. Okay, but right now we're going to go here with the default values. So let's remove the last one here. And after this, we have the additional options. So in the additional options, some of the options are only the part of pro versions, which simply means that we can't use them. And some of the options are actually usable. So we have the alignment here and we have the show subtitles. So if you don't want to show subtitle, you can simply disable this from here. And now you won't be able to see the subtitle here. And after this, we have the show button. We have the show button icon. So if you don't want to show the button or the button icon, you can simply disable this. And you can also disable the title from here as well. And after this, we have the show social icon. So you can see we have the social icons. So if I just disable this, now you won't be able to see these social icons, but I would like to have these icons here. Okay, so let's enable this again. And you can see this, we have the pagination and we have the navigation. So if you don't want to have both of them, you can simply disable this. 
from here and now you won't be able to see navigation and pagination down at the page all right and after this we have the image resolution and after this we have the social icons so in the social icons you can see this right now we only have the three icons but if you want to add the new icon you can simply do this from here if you want to duplicate the icon you can do this from here if you want to edit the icon you can simply click on it and from here you can change the title you can change the link and you can change the icon image here as well okay and after this we have the scroll down so the scroll down we have the three options the first one is the offset which is a part of pro version and after this we have two options section id and button text which you can simply modify if you want and after this we have the slider setting so in the slider setting you can see this we have the autoplay so right now our slider is basically on the autoplay but if you want to disable this you can simply disable this from here and if you want to change the interval between the autoplay you can also do this and if you want to pause this on the hover you can do this so i would like to pause this on the hover so let's enable this option now when i just hover over our slider you will be able to see here that our slider is paused right now okay and after this we have the loop we have the draggable and we have the slider animation so i can also change the slider animation from here as well and we also have the parallax animation and in the last we have the canvas animation okay so this is it in our content so if i just click on the style you will be able to see that we have the sliders so the sliders we only have the title words color typography and the spacing and after this we have the social icons so in the social icons we are having a similar kind of options here and after this we have the scroll down so i'm going to go back here and i would like to change the background image of all of these so let's click on massive right now and i would like to change the image here so let's click on this and i would go here with this one so let's click on select so this will be our image on our massive and if i wanted to change the image on the vibrant i can also do this so let's click on it and click on the image here choose the image and i would go here with this one so let's click on select now you'll be able to see vibrant here and similarly i can also change the background image of the fellow all right so i think this is enough what we can do here i can try the different skin here so let's go here with this value and you can see this there is a change in the skin and if i go here with the material you will be able to see the different design here but i think i would go here with the default one which is slide this is looking better now let's click on update here and now if i just click here and if i just click on view page you will be able to see our prime slider here all right so this is how we can use the prime slider in the wordpress so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel